Um, Keith, wake up. Doug's talking. Although, I will <laughs> say this because he hasn't already said it. Doug Goldstein was the person who said, oh, I know how to break up all the sketch content. We'll just do it like a burst of static as if you're flipping channels. And we were all like, that's a really great idea, Doug. We'll it, give you credit for that. It was either that. <laughs> Good call, Doug. It was either that or the Autobot symbol comes up, turns around, and goes back. <laughs> and that had yeah. been used. Thank you very much. Over here. Hi. Uh, we have a little dog with an attitude. We call her Bitch Puddin'. <laughs> and I'm teaching her to bark whenever I say, What's up, hoes? <laughs> um, some things I'd like to see in the future it would be Jabba the Hutt going to uh, Jenny Craig. That's a, that, was a, that was a conversation in the very first Star Wars special. We were like, Oh, Jabba the Hutt, I don't know. I'm gonna wait like the biggest loser. We'll have a whole thing. And we were just like, let's not. And we were like, yeah, but, yeah I don't know. Char Char going to an ADD awareness. This is not a pitch session. <laughs> and just three people for Bring back Sweet Knuckle Junction. Oh, that's a Greg the Bunny shout out, which I love dearly. Um, we collaborate with Dan Milano all the time, who was a creator of that. And Greg the Bunny impossibly has lived many iterations on multiple forms of, of media. Um, you can buy that DVD on the IFC, uh, all that stuff, but thank you, thank you very much. And adding to that, Bitch Pudding will be in the 100th episode, and she's spectacular. By the way, every time you suggest a sketch to us, we legally then can't do it. So you, <laughs> you really just have to wish as hard as you possibly can. Keep it to yourselves. Hi. In 2008, Hi. the NECA Ninja Turtle toys came out, and there was mention of doing something for Robot Chicken with that? Has anything started to uh, come Wait, say, forward? I missed, I missed the... The NECA Ninja Turtle toys. Oh, yes, you, I love them. Yeah. Is <laughs> anything... You, you mentioned using those with the show for a skit, and has I, anything I mean, because they're awesome. Anybody who had... Did Playful. I will look that up. We, Thank you. We I'll put it time. on there on Monday. Awesome! <laughs> no, I'm serious. They will. It will be up there. And Thank Tuesday you. is still no pants day. <laughs> Over here. Um, ha have there ever been times when you've wanted to air a particular sketch, but uh, like it, like um, higher ups just said it was too. So there were two sketches. One is Beavis and Butthead joined the Teen Titans, <laughs> and the other one was the Archie Final Destination parody, <laughs> River Dump um, Destination. I. Those were incredibly those, complicated scenarios that sort of aired and then kind of just weren't available anywhere <laughs> and it's all finally been sorted out six years later and now you can watch them on our fifth, on our fifth season DVD. Another reason to buy that DVD. But uh, isn't it, no. what about this couple like Star Wars things that didn't George say like, mm, Yoda wouldn't say that or do that. No, we went, out to, we went out to Frank Oz to play Yoda, and he said he didn't want to play a parody version of Yoda because he, he felt like his was a sincere performance, and he thought if it was going to be parody, there should be a parody voice. And I totally respected that. But George and Lucasfilm have been pretty fucking lenient. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> we've, we've got Anakin beheading youngling sunflowers. <laughs> That's and, and George, we watched George like laugh at that sketch. So. He loves that sketch, right? They've been they've been awesome to us. Yeah. Is it just like y'all quote time? Because let's all y'all quotes. <laughs> you see, it's Island Green. It's people. <laughs> oh my God. Over here, uh, Seth. As you may or may, may not recall. Two and three years ago, at Comic-Con, I asked you to do a sexy pose. <laughs> I missed last year. However, I would like to ask you to do another sexy pose, possibly <laughs> with Macaulay and or the sex doll. What was it? Me and Mac and the doll? Well, I can't recruit. I mean, are you down? Are you down to like... I'm, I'm, all, I'm down for any kind of freaky stuff. Man. Are you... Are you, Let's get weird, man. Yeah. Are you ready to spread some international rumors? Yeah. <laughs> you know, you, you ask him nine more times, you've got a calendar, my friend. <laughs> I'm well on the way. Calendar. <laughs> 
We're doing it. We're doing it. It's gonna happen. I thought you guys were yelling out poses. There's, there's no chanting for us to do it. We're shameless. We're already on stage. We'll do it. You came to the con in ears. Come on. You should be. You should. You should be watching. Sexy enough for you guys? Yeah. Thank you. I'll see you again next year. <laughs> you, re you really got my face. Yeah, that was, that, was a, that was a wet one. Wow, that just happened. <laughs> Anybody have any hand sanitizer? <laughs> so my question is twofold. My first part is for Jeff. Um, how you doing? <laughs> I know, Jeff John's in the house. <laughs> I kind of just want to know how your day's going. Well, it's, it's good. I just, I just came from a Green Lantern panel. It's very different than this panel. Yeah. So it's, a, th this is a strange panel to me. No, it's a thing. I didn't get, oh, I was going to say, we like taking him out of his comfort zone well, as much as possible. Jeff's, Jeff's panels are usually Jeff saying, so, I mean, the way the core was developed, um, <laughs> In the Red Lantern, now turn this to the Red Lantern, sir. It seems to represent anger and animosity on the same, sir. It's the 93 of the Great Lantern. What, what it really represents is the. <laughs> so this is, this is not his usual panel. This is like how we act on the weekends, but not a panel. <laughs> the second part of my question is for Seth. Uh, there are people in the world who think that the ship has sailed on Star Wars humor. Um, what do you have to say to them? I will, I will say this, um, in as much as we can talk about it, we have been hard at work for quite a while now on a Star Wars animated comedy. And everybody is sort of aware of that, even though we can't really discuss it. But I can tell you that uh, comedy in the Star Wars universe is absolutely not exhausted. <laughs> And it is awesome! I, I literally can't wait until we can share this with you guys. Um, we're, I mean, we're not, like, confident about it, because Star Wars fans can be really passionate and crazy, because we're, we're them too. Um, but we feel, we, feel, we feel like we're at least giving you what you would want to watch. Um, and it's funny. It's real fucking funny. So. Good. Uh, Thanks. So no, and can't wait to show it to you. Okay. And I'm having a good day. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh yeah, it's my turn now. <laughs> Wait, Jeff, did you even answer that guy's question? Yeah, I said I'm having a good day. Huh? Good. 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 All right, all right. <laughs> First of all, a few shout outs. Jeff, I hope you like my haircut. I can't see it too well, but it looks like it's just bald. <laughs> is that, come here, is that lanterns? Come here, dude, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh my god, I love it. Wow. Look at that. Wow, that's dedication. Both sides, both sides. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh. Dude, if I was gay, I'd ask you out. <laughs> at, first, at first, I... I thought you were Wesley Snipes from Demolition Man. <laughs> Simon Phoenix. Simon Phoenix. Hey, uh, first a shout out to that guy. Uh, I saw a fucking Transformer today. That is the craziest thing I've seen today. So, props to that guy. Wait, but you had a question too, right? Yeah, question. Let's hear the question though. Uh, first of all, I want to know, what's up? with the rest of your acting career. I, I love you, everything you do, but I just want to see, it's not an insult, I just want to see you more stuff. No, that's I want fair, to see that's face fair. all over the place. And, he's right, he's right. That's a different panel. <laughs> um, um, I, made, I made two movies over the summer, one called Story of Luke and the other called Sexy Evil Genius. And they're both like little indie festival films, so they're gonna run the festivals and then hopefully you guys will get to see them. And then I've just been busy making awesome stuff for all of us. No, no foul on you, you're the greatest. I 
suggest maybe a Green and Macaulay Culkin mashup? We made we made a movie called Party Monster. Oh! It's not the kind of movie you sequel, actually. <laughs> and Mr. Culkin, I love you at Party Monster. You're the oh, best. Oh, thanks, man. And I'd love to see you out. No one gave you a shout out. I'm going to give you a shout out. Oh, uh, thank best. you, my man. They need to know. <laughs> I crawled up from whatever rock I hide under and came here for the panel. See you next year, guys. So yeah. that's... If it wasn't such a comfy rock, like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a soft rock. <laughs> hey, Whatever. all y'all are awesome. Um, I was just gonna ask if you think there's anything in the pop culture lexicon that might be able to, I don't know, not top, but at least get to the level of the Robot Chicken Star Wars specials, because it's something that's been around for so long, but can you think of anything that might, I don't know, breach that, that sort of scale, or...? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, one thing that we like to do is try to mock the people that we love. Um, so actually, I, I should probably, uh, we, we brought something to mock Jeff on purpose, um, knowing that he was going to be here. So this is a sketch that we actually did uh, in our new season, or the second half of season five that we wanted to show you guys, but uh, it, it involves Superman. So we hope you like this. So the boys are back in town. We're going to have Kevin Chinnick from MAD and uh, Jeff Johns writing with us. And uh, we're going to start that up uh, in a couple of weeks. Register at Warner Animation. Wait, can we just say something, Sam? Register is the guy that actually introduced me and Matt to Adult Swim and was one of the people principal for helping to make our show possible. So yay, Sam, for saving our ass twice. <laughs> yay, Sam. Can we do any more questions? Yeah, for more. Any more questions? Can we turn the lights up? Titan Maximum! Are we out of time? Titan Maximum! <laughs> well, we're, wait, we're wasting the time. Wait, oh, okay. It's fine. Sorry. <laughs> I, have a, I have a question for my favorite Claire Grant. I love you, Claire. You know that. <laughs> um, is there any new projects you're working outside Team Unicorn right now that you can talk of and about? Yeah, I'm from Russia, so I don't know the English that well. <laughs> um, I just made a movie about James Dean. And It'll be pretty, it's on black and white, 35 millimeter film. An independent movie, another one of those little, you know, hit the circuits and maybe you'll see it. <laughs> That's awesome. That's it. And <laughs> one more question um, that I just made up here. Is there, uh, are you going to have Sarah Michelle Gellar on sometime soon, soon on Robot Chicken? You know, we love Sarah and we love collaborating with her. She is very busy making her hit show Ringer, Ringer. right now. That's awesome. So if she could free up her schedule between being a, a super mom, a dedicated wife, and the star of a hit TV show, hopefully she'll come play with us. But, yeah, but that said, she'll still get a credit in every episode of Robot Chicken. Yes, she does. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I'm afraid we have time for one more question. <laughs> Technically, it should be one nice guy. Hi. <laughs> So I just start asking <laughs> What is the revolt in the room? Yeah, everybody all at once, please. <laughs> Alright, two quick questions. This guy in the robot chicken got really quick. Okay. Uh, I know that Breck and Meyer is a huge part of the show, and you've had Donald Face on a few times. Not necessarily in Robot Chicken, but is there ever gonna be a du jour review? Please, 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 please. Let me, let me only say this, Breck and Meyer, Donald Faison, and Alex Martin and I are committed to at some point bringing you guys a du jour reunion tour. Since I don't know, I don't know what form that will take, but we've talked about it and we both think it's something that will be important even if we're 60. Yeah. Even if no one ever sees it. Is the monkey gonna be in it? Is what? Is Dr. Zayas the monkey gonna be in there? Uh, we'll, see, we'll, see, we'll see which form it takes, I have no idea. <laughs> but thank you, thank you. And Robot Chicken Guy, thank you for always being awesome and bringing the super cool costume. When do I get my own segment on the show? And can I get an autograph? <laughs> come, come closer, come closer. And please tell me you have a writing implement. <laughs> look, at, look at this, look at this guy. Look at this, look at this. Awesome.